Have you ever wanted to take dates in your master set of data when creating a pivot table report and order those dates, or arrange those dates in a different order for better data an analyses? For example, with these dates, when I create that pivot report, I would like to have the option to be able to group those dates into quarters and compare my sales by quarters or for the years, etc. Here's how it works. But first, my name is Donna Gilland. I am the founder of Moss Training. And let's get started. From your data set, you of course would create your pivot table report. This training is specifically on a feature, which is the pivot table grouping feature. I've already created for us a small spreadsheet here. Here's the goal in the pivot table report. I was I am only interested in seeing from this fictitious spreadsheet of a travel company who sells travel packages to certain destinations. In the report, I was only interested in seeing where we've been selling these packages to, the dates we've sold them, and for how much money, total sales. Those are the three fields I've included. The dates, of course, were keyed in by day and year, but I would like to now analyze this data to see how we did quarter by quarter in these sales, how well we did or didn't do in selling these travel destination packages. Here's how it works. First, two things I want you to remember before we create this and change this grouping. One, this feature is on your Pivot Table Analyze ribbon. That ribbon is only active if you are active inside your Pivot Table. Number two, uh, another very important point, and then we'll go on to the steps, is that you must be in a field of date or time type to have the options for grouping different ways. On your Pivot Table Analyze ribbon, working from left to right, you have a third group from the left that has three grouping choices. They are active on my screen at this moment because I am in a cell of date type. But when I move out of that cell of date type, in your case, it might be times that you are grouping. Those options are no longer an option. I'll go back and activate the cell that has a date. Now here's how we're going to group. Choose the option Group Field. When the dialog box appears, the first thing you're seeing are the date ranges within your data. Then the Buy List box lists for you, uh, for yours will probably say Days. So Days is what yours is probably set at. Um, I've been using this file, so mine was set at something different. Now, I'm interested in seeing the quarters, and I'm going to choose quarters and deselect days. Keep this in mind. You can have both and toggle between them, but for this moment in time, I only want to see those dates grouped by quarters. Clicking OK, there it is. Just a couple of clicks, a matter of seconds, and your grouping order has been changed from all those singular dates. Now I can look at my quarters. I can create a chart from those quarters. I teach all of this in my full pivot table uh, class. Now, one more thing in this short video is this. If you would like to continue to see the months and the quarters and toggle between the two, you can. Simply go back to group field, box arrives, and I'm going to click months. Now you have these two turned on. Click on OK, look back at my screen, and you can see that there are now quarter headings, and then there are the months, and then you can turn off what you don't want to see. For example, at this moment, I'd like to collapse it down to the quarters only, and I am on a cell that says quarter one, and from here, from your pivot table analyze ribbon, in the group of tools that says active field, there is a choice for collapse field, and because I'm in a quarter field, Everything below it is collapsed, and I'm now seeing just the quarters. That's a quick explanation for how to group. I think it's enough to get you going if you did not know al already about the grouping feature. I hope you found value in this tutorial. 
I would love to hear your comments. If you're not currently a subscriber of the Most Training uh, channel, I encourage you to subscribe. So this is uh, it for now, and I'll have more tutorials coming soon. Thank you for watching.